This is an interesting AI planner application. It's called Before Sunset AI, and it's an interesting tool that's on the market right now. It's sort of a balance between Todoist and AccuFlow and blending the two together and throwing in some timer and focus features. Now this app is available on web, iOS and Android, which makes it fairly accessible. And it's priced at $96 a year. So very much between Todoist and AccuFlow in pricing. But the application presents a lot of cool guided planning features, which we're going to run through in this video. So I think one of the first features that's particularly interesting is the AI planner abilities. You can go inside a before sunset and start typing away what your day looks like. And that's quite helpful because you can be using natural language to be able to add your tasks either using text or by voice and it helps you to plot those tasks in the right list. So I was example, I threw a couple of tasks in um, that were both personal and work and it organized them into the right lists. Now, whilst this is helpful, there is also a feature called Plan My Day and I think this one's partially useful. It helped to organize the type of work into the relevant places, but it didn't necessarily get it right all the time, but it uses what's called productivity systems and methods to help try and organize those tasks into the right location. It will help to plan your day for you, but it won't necessarily get everything right in terms of what it's trying to do and your own priorities, because that's hard for you to be able to convey that. Now, I think the most special feature of this app is an area called Focus uh, with Oasis. And you can basically do this for every type of application you do. And it is a AI background. So you go into an ambience, then you can add your tasks, your focus, even quotes and things like a timer to help you get started focusing on each piece of work. Now, this is a great sort of application, a bit like Life App, which is a similar tool to this, but it helps you to zone in on the task and to start getting into that prioritization uh, of what you're working on. So going back to some of the more core features, there is a calendar mode in this, which has a week and a monthly view, which is quite nice. There's also a today mode, which can help you use AI features. There's also that uh, note taking mode, which you can attach a note to every single task that you have, which is light and easy to use. It's nothing extraordinary. It will not replace something like Evernote, but it will do the job in terms of adding light, basic notes with some simple heading and abilities like that. You also have a feature called analytics and analytics is basically a breakdown of what you did during the day and how you're progressing in terms of actual and planned time. It'll also give you badges, reward and total track time across the day, giving you a, a overview of your productivity for the day that you've just had or for the week that you've progressed through. So it's time to come to the pros and cons. I really liked the Oasis mode. That was a really good feature that allowed you to get in the zone and allowed you to focus. Now, it was weird because the AI modes, are uh, the workspace or the background isn't necessarily killer. Like it's not something like Superhuman that has unsplash images that are quality. It feels very AI like, but it does have all the components for you able to plan and focus for your day. And it's a nice add on experience to go into a focus mode. The second feature that I really liked is the uh, planner views. They were really good. And I found the actual ability to add your tasks using natural language was actually fairly nice to use, even though there were some nuances around the planning of my day, which I didn't find to be particularly helpful. The final thing was the note taking. I didn't expect that to be part of the application, but actually that's pretty handy to have on the side and good for smaller memos and notes that you want to tag to your tasks. So some of the cons that I found with the app is it is fairly pricey. $96 for the year is more than twice the price of apps like Todoist, which do some of these abilities. So I think you're paying for the focus timers and those experiences, as well as the other views that you do get and the notes on top of that. But I think nice dollars is quite expensive for it per year. The other thing as well is I found the UI to be slightly laggy at times. I tried in two locations where I had good Wi-Fi and I think it was to do with the animations more than anything that things were slightly slower than I found on other applications in terms of being able to quickly capture something or loading up a certain screen. So who is this app best for? It's for those who maybe are remote workers or freelancers or busy professionals that want to use AI to help plan a day. It has some good features, but I would say 
The, the AI features aren't particularly the best element of this. I would say the focus modes are. The timer is really good and those environments are really cool. And you've got the ability to plan your notes and your um, tasks as well as connecting things like your Google Calendar too. So I'd say this app is a very strange one, but it is a good one if you're looking to balance all of your productivity in one house. So there are alternatives to this type of app. You can go over to Toolfinder to find loads of different options on the market. Uh, ones that you may like for the focus mode are Life At, and you'll find other tools on there like AkiFlow, Sansama, uh, Routine, Motion, all similar apps in the market if you're interested. So that was my review of Before Sunset. If you found it interesting and you're interested in AI tools in general, you can jump over to toolfinder.co and use the filters to narrow down your options because you will help find one there. So thank you so much. And uh, I look forward to seeing whether you go for it. If you do go with it, find our link below. Thanks very much. And I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.